This is Mullenbergia riggins deer grass, and it's an evergreen grass. It's three to four feet tall and wide, a little wider than it is tall, as you can see here. And uh, you're also seeing it in fall. So uh, what you're seeing is dried flower stalks there, and that's the tan um, bits that are coming up. And you'll see a detail here in a moment of the flowers themselves, and the seeds are starting to come off now that it's late fall. So this is a popular grass I'm seeing used quite a bit, uh, especially in commercial applications. This is a green belt along a roadway, and um, I've also seen it recently used in a uh, in a, uh, a, a, a co apartment complex in a common area. So um, I'm seeing a lot of landscape architects use this in larger mass plantings so I thought I'd cover it because it does seem to be a grass that people are liking. So one of the big benefits of it uh, as a design element is that it's evergreen and it is hardy to around zero degrees Fahrenheit by the way. And a lot of the grasses that are becoming popular I think that's the downfall is they're not evergreen and as a designer we don't want to leave large holes in our design during the winter or have the need for a um, large amount of maintenance and cut back and hope that everything works out at the start of the next year. So an evergreen grass is a really beneficial thing to have, especially larger like this, you know, three to four feet is pretty good size spread. You can see here where they've used it in amassing. And um, so I think this also shows one of my concerns as a designer. Um, I think this is an appropriate look in certain areas, but cleaning this up is a bit of work. Somebody really needs to come in here and uh, deadhead these and remove the flower stalks so that um, whether it's now at the end of the uh, fall or whether it's done in sometime during the winter before next spring so that you have a cleaner looking plant. I like to address maintenance in all of my plant selections because especially in commercial jobs like this where we know the maintenance is falling on a commercial uh, maintenance company we want to ask ourselves how likely it is they're going to do the right maintenance on it and when it should be done because until they do you're looking at what you see here and for me I don't mind that for a little while but I, I like a cleaner look overall uh, for a lot of applications. Now again, if you're going for a natural appearance, then I think that's fine. But it is something to consider when you're making your, your plant selections. Um, as I said, it's three to four feet tall and wide, and then those flower stalks come up another 18 inches to 24 inches high. And, um, you know, I haven't seen them maintain this, and I don't own this plant. I haven't grown it myself. But my sense is, is that they're going to have to come in here and lower the plant quite a bit to remove those uh, dead flower stalks. And in doing so, the green part that you see at the base uh, is going to get a cutting as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how one would deal with that. But just keep it in mind if you're thinking of using uh, the plant because it does have a nice appearance. It's got this fountain shape naturally. These plants haven't been touched at all um, that I can tell in the last couple of years. And so um, that's the other thing I notice is when I look at them, I most of the time I see them, even if it's in the spring, I usually see these flower stalks sticking up. That's what's kind of the telltale of this uh, deer grass. And um, again, not as clean looking as some of the other grasses out there. These do uh, take low water for sure. This area you're looking at, they barely water it at all. This is Northern California, gets 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer and gets into the mid 20s typically in the, in the winter. And this handles all of that just fine. So a nice low water plant. It's native to the south, southwestern United States and uh, northern Mexico, so it's used to some drier conditions. So uh, as evergreen grasses go, this is a nice choice. It's a, a medium size plant, and uh, I think that's about what I can tell you. And the deer don't eat it, by the way. It is deer tolerant. I think the only hesitation I have with it is the maintenance, but I think if you've only got one or two, that's not a challenge at all. It would be fairly easy to clean up one or two of these I just think in mass it might be a bit of a problem. And that is Mullenbergia riggins, deer grass.